Hello and welcome to our lesson on calculating a percentage of an amount without a calculator. To do this we need to work out 10% of an amount and 10% is 10 out of 100 because that is what percentage means, a fraction out of 100. And we can simplify 10 out of 100 by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 10 so we get 1 tenth. So to work out 10% of a number, we need to divide by 10. We're going to work out 10% of 60. And to do this, we do 60 divided by 10, which is 6. So 10% of 60 is 6. The question B, 20% of 50. Again, we start by working out 10% which is 50 divided by 10. So 10% is equal to 5. But to work out 20%, we need to multiply the 10% by 2. So we do the same to the 5. So 20% of 50 is 5 times 2, which is 10. For question C, we're going to work out 15 percent of 80. Again we start off with 10 percent which is 80 divided by 10. 80 divided by 10 is 8 so that is the value of 10 percent but we want 15 percent so we need to add on to this another 5 percent. But 5 percent is 10 percent divided by 2 so we divide the 8 by 2 and we get 4. So to work out the 15% we add the 8 and the 4 together and we get 12. So 15% of 80 is equal to 12. For question D we need to work out 17.5%. Again we start with 10%, we find 5% and then 2.5%. Because you can see, these three added together will make 17.5%. So 17.5% of 40. We know 10% is 4. 5% is half of that, which is 2. And 2.5% 2 is half of the 2, which is 1. So 17.5% is 4 and 2 add 1, which is 7. Okay. Let's try some more questions. So using 10%, do you want to try and work out question E, F, G and H by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question E, we can work out 10% as 12. And now we can work out 20%, which is double for 10%, so 24. And we can add on to this 5%, which is half of the 10%, so 5% is 6, and we can add these two together to get 25% is equal to 30. For question F, 65% of 200, we can work out 10% as 20, 5% will be half of that which is 10, and the 60% we can work out by 10% times 6 and 20 times 6 is 120 so 65% will be equal to 130. For question G we know 10% will be 150 divided by 10 which is 15 5% will be half of that, so 7.5. And then we can add 50% by multiplying with 5% by 10. So 50% will be equal to 75. And we add them two together, we get 55% is equal to 82.5. For question H, we can work out 22.5% 
by working out 20% and 2.5% and adding these together. We know 10% will be equal to 24. So 20% will be 48. To work out 2.5%, we know 5% is 12. So 2.5% will be equal to 6. And we can add the 48 and the 6 together and we get 54. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.